Is that all you got to say? Yeah. I'm tired. We're going to Blickling. We're going to Blickling Ball. Well, but we can't go in the hall with the dogs. So we're going to walk around the estate. And we've got three dogs with us today. Um, Tiago has decided he wants to be close to Jack and Jill. So this is what's currently going on in the kitchen. I'm sorting through all my teas that are usually in here. Most of these I'm actually getting rid of, but what I'm doing now is I'm filling up these tea bags, like empty tea bags with these different types of tea, and then putting them in here so I can take them to work. And whilst I'm doing that, Rosie's over here doing some coursework, training doggies and filming it. Okay, she is not training doggies because she's lost the clicker. <laughs> Tiago, hello. Pardon me, I mean, that, that's using. <laughs> Where's Rosie? Go on. Demonstrate. Yeah, I'm trying to do it. Demonstrate. Yeah, I'm trying to do it. Look, you need to come with this. Right, right, right. Okay, so I'm going to take the tea bags out and I'm going to put them in here. Currently, you have two dogs licking your hands and the other dog is just watching it. <laughs> Guys, down. Down. I mean, just moved my hand and got the tree. It's going well. So this is now our tea cupboards. That is a lot better. So this is all loose leaf tea and then these are the reusable, not reusable, like tea bag things. Bags of tea, coffee. We also got like a goodie bag for the dogs. And look at this. Jill loves the guitar. I mean, it's huge. Yeah. And then there's a microphone because it was a rock star box. I don't know what that is on my leg. It's probably a bit of tea. Oh, while you've eaten it, will you spit it out again? Was that not yummy? Oh yeah, she's been hiding Rosie's salad in her bed for later, haven't you? She won't eat it though. We've got pie and chips and this fancy alcohol free wine. Hey Rosie, where are we going? Um, we're going to the Playhouse. Playhouse? <laughs> we're going to okay. the Playhouse. Yeah, and what are we doing there? We're seeing Russell Howard. Woo! We've got front row tickets, yes. but like right at the end, so it's not that great. But, but yeah. Still decent. Okay. Anything that else? That building. It's Tudor, I think. Yeah, it's Tudor. Okay. Sorry. Rosie and her architecture. I watch too many like historical. There's a Dalmatian. There's a Dalmatian. They're so they're good. I, I got to play with Dalmatians in the park. There's some puppy, Dalmatian puppies near where we live and we bump into them in the park quite a lot and they are really cute. Yeah. It's really low light, but there we are. Literally in the front row, so we're right there. So yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, very sweaty. <laughs> very sweaty. So we just got home from Russell Howard. It was amazing, it was incredible. We laughed so much, it overran by like half an hour, but it was fine. We got greeted by the doggles when we got home, and now we're having dessert and then going to bed because I'm really tired, even though I've not actually done that much today. Um, Tiago, well, you're going to bed. I'm gonna spend my night trying to keep Tiago in. Some... Yeah, he really likes going outside and just sitting outside instead of going to bed. Which is an issue we are going to try and teach him out of. 
Well, and if you go out there, he will run around because he thinks that you're then playing chase with him. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to bed. We're just running around like absolute crazies. <laughs> Tiago's doing another poo. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, you're cleaning up this one. So I went to the doctors and got the sunset iced tea. So it's different colours and layered. That's really cool. Uh, Rosie is cleaning the banisters and then we have one doggo two doggos and three doggos hello hello hi what are we doing we're just chilling <laughs> what are we about to do i'm gonna see a gamble i've never seen i don't i've never heard of him i've never seen anything. you've never heard of him I've never how am i only just finding this out i've never seen anything he does okay we're going to see Ed Gamble, who is a comedian, and then what happened on the way here. Oh, I think you need to explain otherwise. So we were walking and there were these two very drunk people <laughs> and then they went, hey, sexy. Um, no, sexy ladies. Oh, hey, sexy ladies, do you want to have a threesome? <laughs> Rosie just went silent, so I said no. They went, foursome? No. What about porno? Oh, spinning my coffee. I went, no. <laughs> But we'll give you lots of money. At which point I walked off because we were clearly not getting anywhere with that conversation, <laughs> were we? But now we are at the interlude, um, which is like a big tent in the cathedral grounds, about to see a gamble. I just decided to ignore them because you're just ignoring <laughs> drunk people. It wasn't going to work with these guys. <laughs> They'd already shouted at people, you know, the good thing about being students is being a student. Mm -hmm. So we knew we weren't going to get very far by ignoring them. But yeah, you excited? Yeah. Yesterday we are in the front row, today we are literally at the back. Oh, that is very close to your face. And then we have this one over here, all nice and calm. Well, this is happening. Hello! <laughs> is she beating you? <laughs> Rosie needs to strike them both at the same time or they start protesting. <laughs> so Ed Gamble tonight was really good. What we forgot, because we booked to the ticket so long ago, is it was actually him practicing material for his tour in February, which I think we did know, but we forgot. But anyway, it was really good. Uh, he made a lot of like mistakes, funny bits uh, like that. He made stuff up as he went along and then instantly regretted it after doing that. But I think we're going to try and get tickets for the actual tour in February. So that would be really good, oh, especially if he comes to Norwich. <laughs> did you hear? Rosie just said, we also booked more tickets. But I have absolutely no idea who we've booked tickets to. But they're only £10 because they're like restricted view. But I've had restricted view tickets before at the theatre and it's actually been okay. So, uh, what have we booked tickets for? Grayson Perry. Grayson Perry, who is an artist, I think. Yeah, he is. And I just went with it because the tickets were only £10. <laughs> so, yeah. We're also booking the political panto. Oh, yeah, they've got some like political panto thing going on in Norwich that I really want to see. I don't know what it's going to be about, but I want to go. Um, yeah, so this is the end of our like comedian like 
marathon. Unless we see more comedians. <laughs> what, tomorrow? <laughs> we're gonna book tickets and see more comedians tomorrow. We're not. We're gonna have a night off. Wait, look, look but, at this. Yeah. Look at this. He, like, look, he sits down if you like. <laughs> if he touches butt. <laughs> we give him butt scratches. Poor Jack. And Jill just... Poor Jack. Jack, do you want a cuddle? I don't Come on. Hands, Jack. Oh, oh, you can have all of my attention, okay? Uh, Jill's licking me. <laughs> I'm currently having a grooming session. Yeah. It happens. Tiago gives me grooming sessions in the mornings, don't you? Oh, mm. uh, I've got your eye booger on me now. <laughs> right. I think that's a good time to say bye bye, Rosie. Okay, they're making out. 